the biggest problem facing today's runners, which foot strike is best. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. First and foremost, we don't want to hit the ground with an extended knee. What we want to see at initial contact is the foot land under the knee. So the foot can land under the knee on the rear foot. It can land under the knee on the midfoot. It can land under the knee on the ball of the foot. Technically, all three of those are okay. There's nothing wrong with any of those. The problem with the rear foot strike is when you land with the knee straight. That is not okay. So rear foot striking gets bashed because of this right here. We don't want to see initial contact with the knee straight. We want to see initial contact with the foot under the knee, so the knee's a little bit bent. In that case, a rear foot, midfoot, and forefoot strike are all going to be appropriate, but which one is best? When you land with a rear foot strike, you're going to use your quads and your glutes a little bit more. When you land with a forefoot strike, you're going to use your calves a little bit more. When you land with a midfoot strike, there's going to be more of a balance between the calves and the quads. Think about jumping rope. If you're jumping rope on the ball of your foot, the ankle's doing most of the work. When you jump rope on your heels, you can't use your ankle and your calf muscles, so you're gonna see the knee flex and the hip flex a lot more, and you're gonna use your quads and your hips. When you land midfoot, you're gonna see the calves and the quads and the hips all turn on about the same time. That is ideal. What we wanna see is a balance between your calves, your hips, and your quads, and them all being utilized simultaneously. We see just as many injuries with forefoot striking as we do with rear foot striking. I would not advise changing foot strike pattern if there aren't any issues. We change foot strike all the time in the clinic, but there's gotta be a good reason to do it. I think there's a slight edge towards a midfoot strike because you see more balance between the calves, the hips, and the quads early on in stance phase where a lot of injuries occur. Now you have the answer to that age old question of which foot strike is best when some runner asks you what you think.